About five years ago, I was teaching a large engineering classroom. I had about 80 or 90 students in the class, and I would teach traditionally. I was lecturing on the board, the students would listen and dutifully take notes, then I would assign a homework assignment that was due on Fridays. On Thursday evenings, I would have office hours where the students could come and talk to me about their questions and get all their questions answered. And it was during one of these office hours that I decided to flip my class. You see, during this office hour, we had about five or six students sitting around a table, and they were asking really good questions about the homework. These were conceptual questions, but they were questions that I had already answered in the lecture. But during the lecture, they were taking notes, but they weren't really understanding the material. And then after I addressed some of their questions, a new student came in, and they asked the same question that I had just asked. So instead of me answering again, I asked the students who were in the room to explain to the new student what I had told them. And then they were teaching each other. And now I really saw even a deeper understanding of the material as they had to teach their peer about what, I, what they had learned. And that kind of interaction is what I wanted to see in the classroom. But there was a challenge, which was how do I cover the technical material and still engage students in the classroom? And that's where the idea of this flipped classroom came into play. I had some online videos, and I thought, what if the students watch those videos, and then they can use that material uh, in the classroom to deepen their understanding? That's why I decided to flip. I had three main expectations. The one is that the classroom would be more loud and engaging, and that is exactly what I see. When I let my students loose with a brainstorming question, or when I give them a clicker question, or when I ask them to work on homework together, I see engagement, I hear noise, I see them interacting with each other. That's what I wanted to see. The second expectation that I had is that the students would come to class prepared. And I did mostly see that because I had the gate check, the students were watching the video and coming to class prepared. Of course, it's not always perfect and sometimes they're not as engaged as I would like them to be. And the last expectation that I had was that students would perform better on their summative assessment. And in fact, my research has shown that they performed exactly the same. So although I did not see changes in their summative assessment, I did see changes in our engagement and even in classroom climate.